In this video, you are going to study about CSS attribute sliders. So in the previous video, uh, you have studied about the different kinds of CSS attribute uh, sliders. So now this is the less uh, attribute slider we are going to study. Then after we will study about uh, more about CSS other things, right? So that being said, let's study about what are the CSS attribute sliders and how many CSS attribute slider in here. Before we study dive into the DD, I will show you what I did. So I create the attribute underscore slider dot HTML. So this is the file I created. Then I am running that file using the live server extension. Uh, in the previous video, I mentioned how you can install. And now we are running that server, right? With the both 5,500 uh, 5, slash attribute slider dot html right so now we don't have any html code so we are seeing blank that being said let's study about css attribute slider there are seven css attribute slider so the first one is uh let's say we we have to write that css attribute slider using the uh, a is a slider let's say uh, it a html tag and you have to open the bracket and the close the bracket inside you have to define the attribute which you want to try to find right so uh, this is the uh, the same thing value and key pair inside the open and close curly bracket so that being said let's study about that css attribute number one let's write the html5 now it's generate a code for it so inside the body tag so i will minimize here inside the body tag uh, let's write the code uh, let's say a and i will give a target target as a blank and i will say this one link one okay so another one will be link two and link three so this one will be i will say top right i will say top different one so these two we have a uh, target blank and this one we have different uh, target value so uh, that being said let's create the actual css style uh, we have to write the uh, style tag right inside here I will write the like the example so I will have to start with the slider a so that slider a is for that and I will find the target right so to find the target you have to write with the opening and closing bracket inside you can say T A R G E D target we don't need that full column and then I will open and close curly bracket inside background color will be red so now uh, if i refresh now you are seeing link one two three are selected uh, that is very straightforward it is trying to find all the attribute of the uh, a slider html tag and then if it is that form so that value target is found so it's applying the css attribute background color red so that is very straightforward if you remove the uh, target from lane 3 now it will unselect it so it's very simple and i hope you will get it what i mean in here css attributes letter so that being said let's move forward to another another one so i will delete that and in here css2 uh, so this one is written curly bracket I mean open uh, open bracket and close bracket as well inside we have attribute equal the value now we are trying to bring the specific value if it, we found that uh, attribute of the value is equal we will be uh, applying the CSS for that selected slider right so that being said let's show the example HTML5 so let's do the predicate here so i would say this one a as well so i would create the a target blank and the um where we can we can put hash sign no problem and then i will say link one as well here so another one will be link two and the three so i will delete that uh, ref i don't need that so now uh, we have three link which are default as a blue and under, underscore so now i will make the another style inside let's grab that example so uh, when we refresh uh, you will see the uh, link one two three are selected why because the value blank is applying for all the target attribute 
if I see top the link three value now link three is unselected. It is very simple. Uh, he is trying to find all the target value exactly equal to the underscore blank. If I say top underscore blank, uh, it's it's not working. Uh, it mean you know it is very strict and it is very um, you know not loosey type. You have to be start with underscore blank. If you don't start with, let's say I will delete here. Now it doesn't apply anything at all. It is very strict. That's why you have to start the same value and the uh, we, you have to end with the uh, the same value. But you can put like df. So if you put df, uh, it is also um, very straightforward. You can even have another uh, variable value for the target attribute. So if set, it will only work for link two, right? So even a space, it doesn't work here as you see so it is very strict you have to be put this exact value inside that uh, specific target right so that being said i hope you will understand the css attribute letter one and two using the value and without the value so let's go to another uh, css attribute letter three so uh, this time radiant style is a little bit different so we have attribute and value we have learned about it now we have to put the uh, tight uh, uh, sample inside the in front of the uh, equal sign so uh, what is that uh, it is very straightforward that is used to select elements with an attribute value containing a specific words it may contain right containing it doesn't uh, strict like the above we study about it is mean containing uh, we can have more more or one or one or more words right uh, which is maybe containing specific word it will work so let's see the actual example so I will write HTML5 perfect now I will make the uh, images right this time so image of one uh, image of two images three so we will grab the uh, online URL from the busy.com uh, so this is the free uh, portal website you can grab any portal you want so let me find flowers yeah so I found flower so flower yeah this one I like it so I will grab that copy image address and I will put inside the SRC perfect now I will grab another one will be tree so I'm trying to find different kinds of portal so copy image address and I will put in here perfect now I will grab the uh, COFFE coffee so uh, we'll grab that one coffee copy image address so I will put inside here so now we have three image right so that image is too large so we can make uh, width 100 so it will bring much smaller and this one also perfect now uh, when I refresh now I have three image right so to see the uh, rear the uh, to see the example of CSS attribute uh, written style using the tight so I will grab the code here perfect and then I will paste and up between style tag so now uh, we have our CSS so that is written like trying to find the tighter and uh, the uh, every tag because we didn't specify here as a letter so it means that it will find all the tidy which included the flower words it will affect the CSS right so I will give a tidy here uh, say F -L -O -W, the F -L -O -W, yeah, flower now as you see uh, now the CSS apply because that image uh, target that image attribute title has the name of flower so let's see if I write another uh, example blah blah so now it's still working right so it is not very uh, straight like the one we saw above it is main containing right so containing main yeah so it's contained in from the uh, paragraph so it's still working if it uh, we define another title in the another image let's say this time uh, flower and the we will put flower 
beside another word like example so it's still working the same thing right so that being said I hope you will understand uh, what is the uh, that CSS attribute number three selector is meant for let's see if I put the flower with other word here she their flower so at this time it's not working anymore as well because it is all is it is not strict like uh, including other words but it is strict like you have to type exact word right so you cannot combine with the other any other words so I hope you will understand about that CSS letter as well using the tight key uh, so now we are going to study about CSS attribute uh, 4 so now we will use the bar sample so uh, from the starting 4 5 uh, 6 7 uh, we only change the sample in front of the equal sign so everything is similar from one another so I will show with only one example that being said let's create the HTML5 so now in here uh, let's say we we have here that uh, bar selector with the using bar sample is used to select the element with the specific attribute so uh, that uh, value can be exactly you know the here you see exactly the specific value. You no, know? we cannot uh, uh, put any other words, so it should be exactly right. And according to its rules, it can follow by the hyphen. So uh, let's see here. I will write the P R A. I mean P, and then inside P A R A G I A P H one. Right. So another one will be two three. So let's say two and three. So in, in the head, I will write the style inside here. So you, you may see paragraph one, two, three. I will, I will give the uh, class name. Class name will be PAA. You can give any other name you want. Right now, I will give paragraph, which is related in here. And I will give paragraph as well. So paragraph three. So uh, now I will uh, make the, according to the sentence written style, I will write here like I will grab the code so now uh, you see the class so inside the P we see the class and then uh, we trying to uh, uh, that using that sample bar sample we trying to find the uh, specific value and now we don't see it we only see paragraph so let's change here P A R A G R A P H now G R A P H now it will apply paragraph one two three uh, as a background color yellow because it's from specific words if it is I, I delete that uh, H and I say uh, paragraph so now paragraph one doesn't apply that CSS value because uh, it doesn't have the specific uh, key value inside the class so that is very straightforward so if I put a PIGIPH hyphen and it's stay applying because it said we can put hyphen and say exe as well so beside uh, I mean after the hyphen any value you can type right unless unless value but you cannot uh, put the like space between paragraph and hyphen so it doesn't uh, apply the CSS rule for that because uh, the space between the hyphen mean the entire value doesn't match in here right so if I delete that uh, example hyphen and space and I will put that space in here so it will apply the paragraph 1 and 2 and 3 doesn't apply so in here you have to very careful about the space so that space count in the CSS HTML right so paragraph space value is applying here so that being said I hope you will understand about the CSS attribute using bar uh, in CSS attributes letter so that being said let's go to number five so number five is written like the uh, carrot sample we call carrot sample so that carrot uh, sample selector is used to select the elements with specified attributes who value here is very important you just need to remember this start with okay so you cannot end with so that being said let's change here that sample right so that car sample now you see uh, the the the, the B -I, -G I P H. I will remove the space here and and 
even I don't remove space here, it's applied because it's set. If it, uh, it doesn't matter uh, if it end with nothing or any other words, unless it start with the words it want according to its rule. That's why you can use that um, key, right? Like, like correct key sample uh, to find the uh, specific words. It doesn't matter. It should be start with, right? So if I put uh, another things beside the paragraph, it's still working because uh, it's, it's applying its rule because it's in, uh, include the paragraph key words inside that um, phrase, right? So that being said, let's go to number six. Now we are right with the dollar sign. So that dollar sign value slider is used to select the elements who attribute value now you will see end with. So it is the opposite side. Uh, just uh, grab paragraph. Uh, before we grab, I will see dollar sign here. So now it will not apply number one because number one never end with the paragraph, right? So number two and three is end with the paragraph, of course. So if I put another like uh, exampl, I mean exampl. Now it doesn't apply to paragraph uh, two. So it's end with the example. So let's say uh, paragraph. Three and with the paragraph and we'll say example in front and it's still working because it's end with the paragraph. So this sample is used for end with, right? Another uh, when current is used for start with. I hope you will understand that too. Let's go to number seven, right? So seven now we can use with the star. So that uh, star slider is used to select element who attribute value contain a specific value. Here you see contain. So that contain mean it is less strict. It is very uh, loose type. It is flexible type. So let's say here, I will put star. Then uh, it's selected now paragraph one, two, three, because it doesn't count uh, the paragraph start or end or anywhere you can put that paragraph unless it is include, it is contain, uh, that CSS value we're applying. That is pretty much straightforward for that lesson, uh, attributes letter. So I hope you will love it. And if you love it, please subscribe and share like. So we will see in the next CSS tutorial. Thank you guys.